the early church fathers on the canon of scripture. The early church fathers understood the canon of scripture was set by God. They also knew that God communicated this through the Catholic Church. Many of them lived during the period when this was done. There was no consensus as some seem to think. Eusebius tells us that the book of First Clement was read in the churches from the very early days until his own time, according to Church History 325 AD, written by Eusebius. So clearly a lot of churches considered it to be the word of God. Elsewhere, he includes the books of James, 2 Peter, 2 John, 3 John, Jude and Revelation on the list of disputed works. And yet, First Clement never made it into the canon, but the others did. And that is because of the Catholic Church, guided by the Holy Spirit, decided it would be that way. An excerpt from the Muratorian Canon, 180 AD, says, For the blessed Apostle Paul himself, following the rule of his predecessor John, writes only by name to seven churches in the following order. To the Corinthians a first, there is a second to the Corinthians and to the Thessalonians, yet one church is recognized as being spread over the entire world. Howbeit, to Philemon 1, to Titus 1, and to Timothy 2 are put in writing, to be in honor, however, with the Catholic Church for the ordering of the ecclesiastical discipline, one for the Laodiceans, another for the Alexandrians, both forged in Paul's name to suit the heresy of Marcion, and several others, which cannot be received into the Catholic Church. For it is not fitting that the gall be mixed with honey, the epistle of Jude, no doubt, and the couple bearing the name of John are accepted by the Catholic Church, but of Arsenius, called also Valentinus, all of Militiades, we received nothing at all. Hippolytus wrote 204 AD, What is narrated here in the story of Susanna happened at a later time although it is placed at the front of the book of Daniel, for it was a custom for the writers to narrate many things in an inverted order in their writings. We ought to give heed, beloved, fearing lest anyone be overtaken in any transgression and risk the loss of his soul, knowing as we do that God is the judge of all, and the word himself is the eye which nothing that is done in the world escapes. Therefore, always watchful in heart and pure in heart, let us imitate Susanna. Commentary on Daniel Tertullian, the same authority of the apostolic churches, will afford evidence to other Gospels also, which we possess equally through their means and according to their usage. I mean the Gospels of John and Matthew, whilst that which Mark published may be affirmed to be Peter's, whose interpreter Mark was. For even Luke's form of the Gospel, men usually ascribe to Paul. Written 207 AD. Origen, 244 AD. In Origen's first book on Matthew's Gospel, maintaining the canon of the Church, he testifies that he only knows of four Gospels, writing as follows among the four gospels which are the only indisputable ones in the church of god under heaven i have learned by tradition that the first was written by matthew who was once a publican but afterwards an apostle of jesus christ and it was prepared for the converts from judaism and published in the hebrew language the second is by mark who composed it according to the instructions of peter in his Catholic epistle, acknowledges him as a son, saying, The church that is at Babylon, elected together with you, saluteth you, and so does Marcus, my son. And the third by Luke, the gospel commended by Paul, and composed for Gentile converts. Last of all, that by John. Cyril of Jerusalem, learn also diligently, and from the church, what are the books of the Old Testament and what those of the New? And pray, read none of the apocryphal writings, for why do you not know those which are acknowledged among all? Trouble yourself in vain about those which are disputed. From the Council of Hippo, 393 AD. 
Besides the canonical scriptures, nothing shall be read in the church under the title of divine writings. The canonical books are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, the four books of Kings, the two books of Chronicles, Job, the Psalms of David, the five books of Solomon, the twelve books of the Minor Prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, Tobias, Judith, Esther, two books of Ezra, two books of the Maccabees. The books of the New Testaments are the four Gospels, the Acts of the Apostles, 13 Epistles of St. Paul, one Epistle of St. Paul to the Hebrews, two Epistles of St. Peter, three Epistles of St. John, the Epistles of St. James, the Epistles of St. Jude, the Revelations of St. John. Concerning the confirmation of this canon, the Transmarine Church shall be consulted. Athanasius, 397 AD. I beseech you to bear patiently, if I also write by way of remembrance of matters with which you are acquainted, influenced by the need and advantage of the Church. In proceeding to make mention of these things, the canon, I shall adopt, to comment my undertaking, the pattern of Luke, to reduce into order for themselves the book termed apocryphal, and to mix them up with the divinely inspired scripture, concerning which we have fully persuaded, as they who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word, delivered to our fathers, it seemed good to me also, having been urged thereto by true brethren, and having learned from the beginning, to set before you the books included in the canon. Council of Carthage, 397 AD It has been decided that nothing except the canonical scriptures should be read in the church under the name of the divine scriptures. But the canonical scriptures are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, four books of Kings, Ecclesiastes, Job, the Psalms, five books of Solomon, twelve books of the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, Tobias, Judith, Esther, the two books of Esdras, the two books of the Maccabees, moreover, of the New Testament, four books of the Gospels, the Acts of the Apostles, one book, thirteen epistles of Paul, the Apostle, one of the same to the Hebrews, two of Peter, three of John, one of James, one of Jude, the Apocalypse of John. Augustine wrote in 400 AD, The authority of our books, the Scriptures, which is confirmed by agreement of so many nations, supported a succession of apostles, bishops, and councils, is against you. Reply to Faustus the Manichaean. Council of Toledo, the canon of 400 AD. If anyone shall say, or shall believe, that other scriptures besides these which the Catholic Church has received are to be esteemed of authority or to be venerated, let him be anathema. Pope Innocent from 405 AD wrote, A brief edition shows what books rarely are received in the canon. These are the desiderata of which you wished to be informed verbally. Of Moses, five books, that is, of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, and Judges, one book, of Kings, four books, also Ruth, and the Prophets, sixteen books, of Solomon, five books, and the Psalms, likewise of the Histories, Job, one book, of Tobias, one book, Esther, one, Judith, one, of the Maccabees, two, of Esdras, two, Ecclesiastes, two books, likewise of the New Testament, of the Gospels, four books, of Paul the Apostle, fourteen epistles, of John, three epistles, of Peter, two, an epistle of Jude, an epistle of James, the Acts of the Apostles, and the Apocalypse of John.